Welcome to Capricorn to your weekly love reading for December 25th to the 31st of 2017. So happy holiday season if you do celebrate Christmas and we're running into the end of the month which is going to be New Year's Eve. So happy New Year as well. So let's see what's going on with you Capricorn and love for December 25th to the 31st of 2017. Energy for Capricorn and love. Ten card card across the for Capricorn in love. Okay. The theme, so the Four of Swords is in reverse, and I believe that this is something that was happening last week with you. So obsessive thinking, it's like mental burnout. Um, be careful with doing that because that can really hurt you. It can really um, build up like that negative energy, and it can. It's almost like an explosion of something that can happen that can you can really hurt yourself. You can cut yourself. Something can, you know, drop. You can lose something. Those kind of things happen. A lot of stress. You can't get something off your mind. All right, and I feel like there's like this energy of moving on from someone or a situation where you've been disappointed and you can't stop thinking about that person. Um, this is moving on. This is letting go, and this is not doing that. I'm having issues with letting that person go, and maybe wanting to give them another chance, even if you are um, wronged. All right, for some of you out there, and vice versa, you could be in the situation of the imbalance. All right. Now, the Eight of Swords. Now, Sagittarius had this there as well. So I feel like, yes, you can't stop thinking about something. You may want to say a whole bunch of different things. I mean, and it's coming through very sharp. But for some of you, you're kind of bouncing off a wall of, should I say it? Should I not say it? What should I do? I'm being watched. I'm feeling a bit down, a bit kind of insecure, doubtful of my situation and myself right now. So this is kind of living and change, kind of disappearing in a pull in a Houdini. All right. The recent past is the King of Swords in reverse. So a lot of verbal communication or a lack thereof from another person, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and there is manipulation. All right, um, another person not being quite honest with you, and then having your head and you know uh, going all different kinds of directions. So um, that's not good to see. Whether this is you doing that or another person um, lying to you, um, being deceptive. Okay. The Three of Swords is here at the head of everything, so um, there is heartbreak. Your heart broken by someone, and this is potentially why you can't stop thinking about someone, especially with the holiday season and you know how your perspective may be about it. And um, your birthday week, I do want to wish you all a happy birthday. You know, not the happiest of energies right here, but remember when the sun is in your sign, it does bring about um, a lot of focus on the changes that you actually need to make which you need to move away from, the things that you really love, the things that you really don't like, even sometimes you may feel like you hate things, but um, this is looking like that kind of energy of uh, angry and pulling a lot of that uh, turmoil out. Letting someone go, you're trying your best to do that in the near future, so it's a relationship or marriage or person, it could be a fire element, that air element is there, it could be a Scorpio as well for some, but this is going through a divorce or a breakup with all of these cards here but having issues with doing that so if you can't make a certain decision right now you're purposely kind of just trying to turn your back on the situation all right your energy the queen of pentacles sagittarius had this as well so there is you focusing on the home just trying to make sure that you're you're good making sure that you're stable especially if you were making others feel that way and you were neglecting your own emotional well-being for some of you maybe dealing with a capricorn virgo or taurus as well could be the wife or the husband but also an overall energy of um, a home business focusing on you minding your business kind of thing um that independent energy all right how others are seeing you though now this is how others may be seeing you or your partner so to me it looks like a lot of different things are going on behind the scenes deep down but you're trying to do your best to show this face to show this playfulness to be around your children to interact with others to do your best to cope with the situation some of you may be around the leo um others of you with children with your friends those kind of things but i feel like that's good to see in the universe usually um 
not usually always in my experience will um, reward you for trying your best to handle these tense situations in the best way that you can even though you can't stop thinking about something it's not easy you know it's life that's what it is so i feel like this is um trying to be playful maybe different events and things like that that's going on now your partner um capricorn virgo or taurus if you're dealing with somebody and this is their energy um being in a relationship where it's a bit bored if the connection was with you they may not be liking it they may be in a relationship of their own and they're not liking where they are but you two are not moving together things are not moving forward they don't put in a lot of effort when it comes to work they may be out of work or just um, really not focused on their future or your two's future all right now the outcome is the king of wands in reverse so a um, Sagittarius Aries or Leo that you are dealing with for some of you this is um, you talking to many different people maybe exploring your options but I don't get that for many of you out there this is maybe someone that you are dealing with and I feel like this person may have been a serial dater dating different people um, maybe flirting with different people kind of stepping outside of the relationship those kind of things are going on now because of the resentment that you may have towards somebody you know just make sure that you're not turning into um, that energy this the thing that you don't want to experience for someone else you don't want to give that off so just be careful of marrying that um, person's energy all right so let's see clarify the three of swords for capricorn we do have the king of pentacles so maybe a capricorn or virgo or taurus and this is still being heartbroken by that person or you're focusing on uh, material wealth and um, being stable right now let's clarify that again clarify the three of swords for capricorn the queen of cups is here and this is a pisces scorpio cancer it may be because there is some separation between you and another person and not a, you can't make that connect with them until they are to focus on themselves and get themselves together because you can't really take care of them um vice versa that energy is there also you're intuitive powers are going to be heightened i feel and your ability to see and understand things that people are not really telling you if they're not telling you the truth that's where you know if things are you know being manipulated you're asking certain questions and they come back and just kind of flip it flip the story and put it on you you know those kind of things are going on so the queen of cups is telling you to listen to what you feel you know things that may be coming to you all right and it could break your heart but it's the truth i feel um clarify Clarify the four of swords in reverse for Capricorn. And then you do have the Hermit. So again, that stress is definitely there. So maybe a Pisces or Virgo that you're thinking about. Um, but making sure that you find some solitude though. All right, clarify death in reverse for Capricorn. Clarify death in reverse. Yeah, you have the fire sign here again. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this person is um, manipulative, controlling, a bit jealous um, of their partner. You know, talks to different people. It's just like the king of wands in reverse. It can be like that for some of you out there. Not seeing all fire energies like that, but you're dealing with someone in that way, in that position. And even though that person is treating you in a certain way, um, doesn't have to be that sign but you know you still deal with it you're having issues with letting that go it's a toxic kind of relationship clarify the uh let's see clarify the eight of swords for reading is very clear to me clarify the eight of swords for capricorn and the will of fortune is in reverse and this sometimes i feel can be from your own response to this person them bringing out the worst in you you know your shadow self and how you respond to them um, it can bring up negative consequences that you have to face and kind of allow you know time to heal that energy so you can build up that good karma that energy I feel for some of you out there so that's what I get a sense of for um, this week um, what I do let me clarify I'm gonna clarify your partner's energy for you Capricorn if you're dealing with somebody clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn okay the queen of swords so maybe aquarius libra or gemini they could be dealing with this person those two people are not seeing eye to eye but i feel like your partner is you know being a bit cold towards you almost like even if they've done something um and they were in the wrong 
they're still kind of having this attitude like I'm right um, righteous kind of thing going on there and that's heartbreaking for some of you out there but others of you they're turning their back on you if you were the person giving all that energy so they're trying to be independent as well in general and focusing on career um, that's why I feel that that separation is there so um, those are your messages for the week. I do hope that they help you out. And remember that if you would like a private or personal reading, that you go to the website, psychiclovehills.com, to schedule something for you. Have a good one.